Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. If you've missed episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, I'll leave the card on the top right corner of the screen. Definitely go ahead and check the other episodes out. Um, also, if you are enjoying the series, a simple like would go a long way. Let's shoot for a thousand likes on this video. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy the progress number 7. Here we go, 83 strength and uh, XP per hour is definitely starting to pick up, especially on a task like this. It is a really, really good task uh, for some fast experience. So probably gonna, honestly, I might get 84 uh, strength on that task alone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I might at 85, I might swap to whip and then go for like 80 attack and 80 defense and then continue with strength. I'll see I'll decide uh, as I go along, but pretty cool. Already at 77 Slayer, which is honestly quite huge. We're, we're creeping up to that 80 mark when we can farm some Necreoles as well. Still no Gargoyle task though. Uh, I do want to get them for a task because they're amazing money. Um, but yeah, the stats are on screen. Not looking bad at all. Here we are, 84 strength was accomplished, I kind of missed it a little bit, but nonetheless, one more level to that 85 that I've been going for, and at that point, I will then decide whether I do want to train more attack and defense, or I want to keep going in strength, also nearly completed with this Bloodveld task, I've been attacked many, many times actually. Points are starting to look pretty nice, 138 right now, and let's see what the new task will be, again, Black Demons. I've been getting black demons all the time, um, might be worth it to consider going for 70 agility, but at the same time I really do not want to do that. We are still at the black demons and 85 strength was just accomplished, which is pretty cool, I just realized I forgot to pot for a while. Um, I have no idea how many I have left on the task, simply because, well, my client isn't working properly, it shows that I have blood vells even though I don't. I'm almost 78 slayer as well. The levels obviously are taking a little bit longer right now and I kind of changed my mind I'll probably push to 90 strength right now and then fix up the attack and defense but pretty happy with how things are going keeping strength and range kind of even is very very nice. Already at 78 Slayer. There we go. Um, what was that? 86 strength was also accomplished. Now it's starting to, to kind of slow down, so yeah, we're gonna be going for 90 strength, I'm now fully decided 90 strength, and then we fix attack and defense as well. Here we go, that was a very enjoyable Greater Demon task, and moving on to Hellhounds, a pretty fun one as well. 87 strength on this Hellhound task, coming in hot with 79 Slayer already, very very nice. Okay, another task is done and I have over two, 300 points right now, which is really awesome. I was looking at the crafting thing, I need 75 for Slayer Rings and I do eventually want to get that. Uh, but now we got some more trolls to kill, not an ideal task. Actually, you know what, I really don't like trolls, so I'm just gonna cancel it. It's not too bad, but I just personally dislike it. Iron Dragons, yeah, those are kind of shitty. Um, what's next? We have some Black Dragons, those are easy, let's do it. New task for some worms, we don't do those, they are very out of the way, pretty dangerous and not the best. Gargoyles, and that is amazing, nice, that's gonna make us some nice money. And to make this task a little bit more convenient, we're also gonna unlock Gargoyle Smasher. Now, if I were to get attacked in the tower, all I would really have to do is get in combat with Gargoyle and then drop the actual hammer. And then I'm basically safe because you can never kill a gargoyle. Um, all the way until now, I thought this was a bad unlock to do in Deadman mode, but I never thought about just dropping the hammer. So it's actually going to be a good unlock, especially because I do plan on spending a lot of time at gargoyles. So yeah, let's gear up and let's do some gargoyles. And this is why I love gargoyles. Half of the trip and already 300k in just alcables and 50k on top of that. Um, Honestly, just two more tasks of these and we will probably have enough for the whip, um, but really sick. Now, the sketchy part is when it comes to running to the place, but I should hopefully be alright. Um, 
my generic setup is this six uh, like one combat and then six prayer but because i want to extend this one a little bit we're gonna go like this two extras um here we go 88 strength currently rendering a video so the screen is a little bit laggy two more strength levels to go until we start training attack and defense or if i get enough money for a whip we start training shared that could also be a possibility um that's most likely gonna be what i'll what, what's gonna end up happening i'll try to afford the whip when we do reach 90 and then train shared but the levels will come in a bit slower at that point but still and a second trip for another 400k alongside 70k, so almost 500k in this one as well. So together, 800k task, I'd say. And then uh, when you start selling these for uh, like 2k each, it becomes like a 1.2, 1.3, maybe even 1.5 million tasks. So two or three tasks like that, and we, ha and we got ourselves a whip, which is awesome. Here we go, another one. Trolls again. Um... Don't have that many skips now, so I'll do that one. I have no idea, but I have a good feeling that Torstal Seeds in this game might be worth a lot. So I'm picking this up. Decided not to bring Looting Bag into this task because it's really out of the way and I kind of value Sharks, but then I drop Sharks. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll see. I, I do have high hopes that this will sell for a lot. Well, I was kind of waiting for strength level, but then I just got the Slayer level. So 80 Slayer just accomplished. I have exactly one more troll to kill. So I thought I would be able to just kill it first and then get the level, but I was wrong. Calculations were wrong, but 80 Slayer, that means we can now get assigned Necreals as well. And both Necreals and Gargoyles are going to be just insane money. So really hyped to get these tasks and uh, account is starting to progress very, very nicely. Let's see, task number 14, steel dragons, no, no, I don't want to do them. Let's see another one, blood Veld, amazing. And here we have it, we also just received 89 strength, just one more to go, and we round the stats up, so pretty, pretty nice, really hyped to get this final level out of the way. Another task done, blood welds are out of the way, we're getting very close to that 90 strength mark and we got some fire giants, another AFK task that I completely do not mind doing, gonna be definitely reaching 90 strength in this one. Here we go, 90 strength is accomplished and it's time to train attack as we promised. So those levels are now finally gonna start coming in pretty fast, hopefully we get a whip by the time we're 90 attack. I kind of want to get to 90, 90, 90, and then I'll just train whip shared all the way until 99. I could use whip already if I had the money for it. Well, I don't, so, uh, yep, that's, that's, that's it pretty much. So, yeah, let's just get some attack levels. We got to 71 attack in that task, and the new one is blue dragons. Not a biggest fan of the task, but looking at the points, we will do it regardless. That task got me to almost 66 prayer, which is awesome, and 72 attack, and the next one is Hellhounds. I like this AFK task, so not bad, let's do it. Here comes 81 Slayer, 4 more levels to the next goal, which will be 85, and we're also at 73 attack at this point in time, which is pretty damn decent, I'm just resetting my aggro. I like to AFK these tasks. Um, but realistically I can pretty much die at any point and if I do I pretty much have enough stuff to just gear up and get back the black mask could maybe be a bit of a problem but I can sell out a lot of things in my bank and just buy another one honestly so not too worried about things right now. So I decided to sell all my herbs, all my potions, all my gargoyle loot, literally everything to be able to afford this whip for about 3.7 million. Uh, it bought overnight, so here is what I'm risking. I basically have nothing left in the bank. I have 10 prayer potions, that's it, that's all I have left. Um, but it's still gonna be such a useful upgrade. I can now train attack much, much faster, and I won't be using whip everywhere I go, because I'll just use it in safe areas like hellhounds, blood welds, maybe fire giants stuff like that, um, but this is gonna speed my attack training up by a lot. We're looking at 90 attack, then 90 defense, and then shared to 99 all stats, that's gonna be the goal, and I'm absolutely loving the sound of the whip. So the next upgrades that I'll probably wanna get on this account are gonna be the fire cape. Yeah! <clears throat> the fire cape, the... Fuck, now I'm confused. Okay, the fire cape, the piety, and the desert treasure, and the crystal shield, all of those quests I do want to complete probably in my next episode. So 
these are the stats, we're looking really, really good. Um, the account is already over 100 combat as well, so super excited for the future. I will be ending the episode here. It is a pretty condensed Slayer packed episode. I think I got like 5 Slayer levels and I got to like 90 strength and like 76 attack at like already. We afforded the whip, we have the gear that we need and uh, I think this is an appropriate time to end the episode number 7. Now I really do hope you guys did enjoy it even though this one was heavily Slayer packed. I have some interesting stuff planned for the next one. Hopefully I don't die doing it though. Um, but yeah, the, the next goals on the account, I've mentioned it a couple of times in the video, but let's just like repeat it, 90 attack, 90 defense, completing all the quests, getting to 85 slayer would be a big goal, um, for those whips, and uh, getting to 87 slayer for that crack, and those are a couple of goals that I do want to have, and I do want to reach on this account in the very near future, so a couple of episodes of more slayer, I'm thinking, um, but you know, you never know, May I will obviously spice it up doing some different things as well, but expect uh, another Deadman Mode video in a couple of days. In the meantime though, because I am uploading just about every single day, I will upload a bunch of LMS videos, but I still play Deadman Mode on the side, it just takes a bit longer to get the clips obviously, because... At the start you get clips fast, right? But the later in the, the later stages of the account you get the clips a bit slower. So LMS videos are great to just kind of fill in the void when there is no video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy those as well. Leave some support on them as well. I'm really trying my best to, po to post a video every single day. It's uh, not the, the easiest to say, but I'm, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you very soon at tomorrow, I guess, with an LMS video. And until then, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.